no, I've, I've spoken at a number of universities and I know, and, you know, inevitably someone will say, well, how do you, you know, go into a situation not knowing what the outcome should be or, or having that book of experience and, you know, I'll relate my experience of being an expat in, in Israel, a hard, very hard industry and a hard country. And I remember saying, oh, you, you learn the art of failing fast. And I had one student call me on that and they were like, what does that mean? <laughs> so Mike, what would that mean to you? Like if we, we can placate someone with learn to fail fast and pivot, but really, what does that mean? I mean, other than. What does it mean to fail fast? Um, well, I'm in the marketing space and, and it's what we do every day. We run, we, we run campaigns and we have ideas of, okay, I, I think it's going to be this, but it could be that. And we're gonna and, and we're gonna A B test and we're gonna we're gonna see and the faster we can the we can figure out which one we're which if it, if you if you fail it's not a failure it's a it's a lesson learned mm-hmm. um, and uh, and it, I mean I look back at my ancestry days and we probably ran I don't know two hundred campaigns over the course of the time that I was there and only forty or fifty of them really took off. And, but it was a learning process for each one of those to go, okay, that one didn't work. What are the reasons? Okay, it was the wrong timing. It was um, the wrong message. It was the wrong audience. Um, and, and then we went, okay, how do we, how do we fix that? So that the next time um, we don't have to, we, we can uh, set ourselves up for more success in the future. And I think I've tried to do that with every company that we've been at. Okay, we're doing this landing page test and this is really radical change. Um, but there are some times where you hit it out of the park and there's some times where you're like, oh, that was terrible. Um, and, and you crush your fingers that you don't lose a whole lot of your business and well, you do that, but you have to give yourself the ability, um, uh, to, um, to make fit, to, to fail because that's the only way you're going to be able to win. I think that's a great way to say it because most people think, oh, hero's journey, they fail once and then all of a sudden they recover and there's, but it's... I, I mean, want that hero's journey. Right, me too. <laughs> but that 200, you know, experiments to get 40 successes, you know, we need to talk more about that. We need people to know that maybe don't overly buy into everything that you do. I mean, enough that you're willing to split test and you're willing sure. to abandon the baby, um, of sorts, if you're you're going to move forward. Yeah, and I think I've I've, I've learned that at, uh, at Grow over the last couple of months, as we're still we're still small enough company that we're trying to figure out where where the business model should go and how much to how much to charge and what our what our um, packaging will look um, of, of our software will be and how much do we provide and and I think that's actually been really fun and scary um, over the course of the last few months to learn because. Um, we haven't nailed it yet and we're still trying to figure it out. And, and, um, but every time we do, we learn that much more to go, okay, that part worked. Now let's go focus on this area. I think that's great to share because you at the helm, I'm sure a lot of people think, well, Mike has it all figured out. Mike has seen things. He knows where we're going, but it's, it's the testing and learning phase of literally every single company that, you know, it's later, it's nostalgic to share that story. But when you're in the mix of it, business is kind of chaotic, kind of messy. Um, You try a lot of things. It takes you far more time to get momentum than you think. But that momentum comes from all of this. Absolutely. I mean, every situation that I've, every company that I've ever been at, I I take things that I've learned from those places and apply them, but they never work the same way. (laughs) There's so many other variables. There's so the size of a company and and the experience of, of, of a team and um, the audience you're going after and the product that you're selling, all of those things are, are so have such large levers to be pulled that you can apply um, concepts and you can apply um, uh, experience, but you may get a completely different outcome um, with, a, with, with all the different kind of cards you're dealt in the, in the, next, in the next round. Yeah, so split testing, I, A, B, and C kind of play on.